Thomas, what are you doing in the bathroom? How are you? This is the bathroom of the Tuscany 45MX. And you're thinking, why are you in the bathroom with a very large man? Actually, uh, this is Corey Foster, who we met uh, at our open house. And we were walking through our Tuscany, and the video dropped out. And right when we were getting to discover the new decor package, and we promised to bring it again. So here we are again with Corey. Now I'm in your neck of the woods, and it's gorgeous out here. Not too bad. Not A little bad. windy today. That's all right. Not too bad. Not, Not too bad. bad. So Welcome to Southern California. So now we have three full men in the bathroom. Now, I was just talking to uh, some people that were in here. And uh, they had the, the family was in there, wow, this bathroom's huge. And I said, if I'm not mistaken, according to my Corey Foster knowledge, because I pay attention. Yes, you do. This is the largest bathroom in the Tuscan lineup. This is the largest bathroom in the Tuscan lineup. Boom! Give me a prize. That's it. All right. So. Winner, take, winner. Take us through uh, the Tuscan here, because this is great. The new decor, I love it. We're getting a lot of great feedback. People are coming in and saying this is beautiful. And, and, and the nice thing about this, when you were, I, I were at Open House, that was dealers coming through. You this, bet. This is a real tail show, so yep. this is where everybody on the West Coast who is near the Speedway can come out and come in and park for free and walk through and getting their first look. In, they're touching things. You're allowed to come in here and touch. This isn't like an art museum where it's boring and you can't touch. This is the opposite. It's exciting and you can touch it all. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. And people so, love this. They do. So one of the things, we started the bathroom today, and I appreciate that, because you know, we, we've done the bathroom test in the past, haven't we? We have. Oh, well, first of all, Do you know the bathroom test? I do. The saran wrap, unless, is this a gag? No, it's no gag. All right, because I know I the promise. saran wrap I, on the <laughs> toilet gag before is not fun. Easy access. Yeah. Now, the size of this bathroom. 6'5". Six, 6'5", five. Six, five, Corey. Now, this doesn't happen in I'm real life. I'm watching the this whole thing all the This way is an unlikely scenario, but you're getting... You're getting out. We typically don't have rubber now There's no the free men in the tub. It just went Corey, hand me a loofah. Yes. Hand me a loofah. <laughs> So, but this is the bat, and this is how large this is. And, and take us through some of the, the great features back here outside of this amazing closet. We got a shoe rack. The size is, yeah, exactly. So, besides the size yeah. of the bathroom, which, you know, when you, when you buy into a 45 foot bath and a half, room is what you're looking for. And this closet's all the way across the back of the coach. His and hers sinks. Mm -hmm. And we both know this is going to be hers and hers, is what it becomes oh, very now, quickly. Now, in your bathroom at home, Corey, with your sinks like this, how? How many items do you have on the sink? I don't have my own sink. You know what? Bathroom at home. But we, we, if have, I we, have did. A, we have a sink like this at home. I have three items. Yes. I have my deodorant, my hair product, and a toothbrush. That's it. That's it. Tracy, so I, I know it. you're watching this, and it's just say I know. It's yeah, so I get a toothbrush, and I get my razor in the cabinet. Yeah. That's what I get yeah. at the house I right there. generally yeah. share with my Daughter, sure, the bathroom around. of the teenage girls. Were. Well, anyway, I'm getting so, way off base yes, because we're we talking storage and rooms. Yes. So, studio collection yeah. is in the entire coach. This is going to yeah. be just a glimpse of what we're going to show you as we move forward into the coach. But cabinetry, yeah. countertops, flooring, beautiful, it's beautiful, only, beautiful. One thing that you're talking flooring, I had a, another couple coming through, and they could not believe that this was hand laid porcelain tile. That's just this is tile. It, yeah, I know. Isn't that amazing? It looks. It looks like it is just, you, you, you put on your lumberjack outfit and you cut it down and you went to the mill. And I had to go get it. one of our spares from the storage compartment to show a guy earlier to convince yeah, him it was tile. It is. This is porcelain tile. It is, it is porcelain laid. tire. And let's talk about something that is important because someone said, well, this has got to weigh a ton. But the way we put the flooring in now, the Schluter Dieter material, saves hundreds of pounds. You know, it's, it's a combination. It's our relationship with Freightliner. Mm -hmm. It's our Atlas Foundation, which, by the way, is exclusive to us, exclusive to the RV market in general. It's going to protect your home, protect your floor, protect you driving down the road. The Atlas Foundation is a fantastic feature that can't be duplicated in the market. It isn't duplicated in the market. It's, it's, I was, I'm sorry, I was reading comments. Um, Harold gives us a thumb up. Joanne, a mirror beside the toilet. No, well, you can, it's a big thing. You get ready. You can multitask, Joanne. You can multitask. Multitask. All right. Bedroom. <laughs> Something else, someone says, why is this bed? It's, and these are real questions. Right? I'm, they I'm are real today. questions. Why is the bed so short? But it's yeah. not so short. It's, it's a full-size king. It's it a full-size just... king. When you buy sheets for this bed, you buy king-size sheets. You don't buy them and you tuck mm -hmm. them underneath the bottom. So there's a full-size king. This is a tilted bed. The reason we use a tilted bed, because where we're standing right now right. would be this big if the bed wasn't tilted. Right. Right. So we're opening up space mm -hmm. in the room is what we're doing. It's a big thing. 
Also, one of the nice things about yeah. that, and I'm going to slip right behind I you. I will trade places. The old sh closet we had here before was not near this deep. That's deeper than my arm yeah. is, right? You can hang your clothes in here, hang your shirts in here, and they can hang straight. They don't hang off at an angle. Which is nice because it's, I mean... And I would challenge yeah. a lot of manufacturers to hang a hanger well, in and there. The other thing, too, is, you know, especially with a 45-footer, a lot of people will, will take this on the road longer, or perhaps this will become their home. Yeah. You can take this shelf out so ladies can hang dresses. You can hang you your can. coats. You know, you, put, really you can put a half-used case of water in here if you don't want to use the residential fridge, which we will Well, it has been warm this week, guys. In the, in, in the guy's defense, it has been warm you know, in I'd here. I'd actually just grab one of those. It's, it is. It's, it's very thirsty. It's very, very warm. So... Love the new door. Yes. This new vented door that we use for the washer and dryer. I just love the design of this door. I can't get enough of it. Like I said, everybody that's walked through this coach today and yesterday and the day before yesterday, everybody is just gaga over this yeah. new interior. It this is. studio collection is a home run and a half. It looks great. We're walking to Tom walk into the half bath here. The nice thing is, and I don't know if we brought them uh there this comes in a lighter color as well there is a lighter color you can get this it's going to be sanibel will okay. be the name of it is the name of the new interior okay. that's not going to be available right away right but th that will be coming in the near future okay. yeah near okay. future yeah all right yep. so we got our half bath there yep so he's in the half bath now which again the bathroom test applies to that as okay. well however you got plenty of room in there and then we so this is the bath and a half unit, 45 feet long. Now we're opening up into the living area of the right. coach. Right? Now you get to see studio collection at its full, full power. I mean, and it, and it does. It stretches from all the, the way floor around. to the ceiling to the kitchen yeah, the to the ceiling. The ceiling is new. This is all new. I mean, everything in this coach is going to be slab cabinets, yeah. slab doors on this. You'll see these in the new homes being built today. HDTV has them all over the place like that. So the studio collection mm -hmm. just isn't cabinetry. It's not just the floor. Mm -hmm. It's the cabinetry. It's the floor. It's the countertops. It's the window treatments. It's the whole ball of wax. And it's just, I mean, I, I can't get over. I've had people come in here and say, I don't believe it. How much is this coach? Right. You know, it's just, they, you know they're, they're equating the interior to value, right. which is exactly what we want to do as, as manufacturers. Right. You bet. And as I stand under here, one thing to point out is how we run our ventilation in these units because it is center vented and on a day like this, it's great, especially yeah. if you're driving on the road and the, the walls are in. So let's talk about how we so, run so, that. Yeah, so, so why is that important? Right. Why, I mean, why do we bring exactly. that up? Not just because it's 95 degrees outside and we're, we're standing right. in a cool air right now. It's actually we draw from the outside areas, outside vents, draw, and there's and one on each side of the, of the ceiling. And then it comes out in the middle. Mm -hmm. What makes it that happen is now I get air doing this number. Okay. Right? I don't have air drawn on one side mm -hmm. and pushing out the other. Other manufacturers do it that way. It's not as efficient as having it come right out the middle and drawn from both sides. That circular motion of the air that keeps the entire coach cool. It's not as warm today as it has been over the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's had almost 100 degrees over the weekend. I bet. This coach has been 70 degrees since I got here. We got three ACs up on the roof. Three ACs, three 15,000 BTU and ACs. And then I know we're supposed to get a couple of chilly nights out here. That's where the heat pump comes in handy. You betcha. So what you do, you can set, you can set your panel here, mm -hmm. your Firefly yeah. panel on auto. Okay. And, it's, and set it for 75 degrees or 70 degrees. And if it needs heat, if it needs cool, it does it automatically. Now, Corey, what happens if it's a chilly night out here? I'm walking around in my bare feet, and my feet are cold. What should I do in this Tuscany? Wow. What a great question that is. <laughs> He's pulling out all the stops on me. I thought maybe we were going to have to talk about the, the heated floors outside. I said heated floors. Heated I said floors, heated floors in the Tuscany. Cold. Thank you. Know, you. I haven't even tried. I, I talked about trying it out when I talked to you. Uh, at open house, and I haven't yet, but uh, I have to try it out. Yeah, so heated everybody floor, says, "Well, right heated floor." Here. They've been using heated floors for a hundred years, Corey. Yeah, but you don't start a fire in your storage <laughs> bay to keep your yeah, floors heated right. in this coach. That's not how you do it. So this is going to be an electric blanket technology in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Gold Heat is the brand name. What's most one of the unique things about Gold Heat is in the past, if you had a failure with your electric blanket heated right. floor, you would get electrocuted. No. Well, would you, to fix that. You start at the front yeah. of the coach, and you tear up the floor until yeah. you find the failure. That's right? impossible. With Gold Heat, what they've done now is they have a diagnostic machine yeah. that will, if it fails, they can find the failure, fix it, yep. get it right back to you in no time at all. Which is a great way it's, to it's do it. It's a fantastic. You know, and I yeah. did, Tom and I spent some time in the factory when uh, the Schluter-Dieter guys were in giving a demo to 
this is the brand new product. Here's mm -hmm. how it is, and we were recording the, the the video for the installers to do it, and it's mm -hmm. it, it, it's really an amazing process. And to watch them lay that down, like oh, that's how that works. That's it's that's it's you know, amazing. So it really so is. we've used that cement board, yeah, right, for for, for for years and years, it, it, and it's worked very yeah. well for us in the past. So I go into Home Depot the other day and yeah. walking around with my wife and we're looking at some different tiles and stuff for maybe the bathroom in yeah. our own house and there's rolls of this big orange Sluder stuff yeah. everywhere in Home Depot. Yep. That's what they use in your house now. I'll send you the video and you can do it yourself. It's really not, you watch it and you're like, oh wow, but it's one of the things that, that we do and then you, they, they do the, the, the vitro and the, the backer and then the gold heat, it's really a, a neat process and you have this amazing floor over to this amazing kitchen that has a couple of new features. I love this sink, and I like that you could take this outside if you didn't want to, because there's no propane well, on this. See, I paid attention You paid attention, time. and so uh, no did, you, did you say you could take this out? Yes, I sure did. Corey. What are you talking about? Did crazy talk. No. So we have recessed yeah. the induction stovetop. Not only have we recessed it, it's also portable. Which is cool. So you go outside. I pull this up. I unplug it, mm -hmm. I take the unit outside, yeah. and I cook outside. Yeah. How like often that. do you cook outside when you're RVing? Oh, almost 98% uh, of the time. All the time right. Right? It's almost every night. Outside. Yeah. Unless the wind's blowing in Southern California. And the California. nice thing is, is this, you know, if you've never cooked with induction, don't be afraid of it. It works very, very well. It heats very, very evenly. You will need to get special pans that way. Just use a magnet on the bottom. Check out Mobile Meals on our YouTube channel. We can show you some of the so great things. You guys things. have a few videos. We do. Of just right? a yeah. couple. We're getting ready. We just we just did. set the kitchen up for a new round of Mobile Meals. We were down at the studio yeah. the other day. We yeah. got the sound up, so we got. Uh, we I was got telling ready to folks go. today we we sold an Aria earlier. Okay. Giant carries my Aria and my Tuscany. There's a little spot for Giant, by the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the lady had some concerns. Okay. About the induction stove. Sure. Some concerns about the microwave right. convection. Hadn't really had a lot of experience with them. Pulled up YouTube, Thor Motor Coach. Oh, here's three videos yeah. I can show you how to do a whole meal. Yep. Wham, bam. Yeah. She's like, I had no idea. Yeah. So, how simple it is. Yeah, so don't don't be afraid of your thing, you know, induction cooktop. But check out Mobile Meals on our YouTube channel and check out all the videos. We have a lot of stuff we'll talk about in a little bit here, but I want to continue with our tour because we're only halfway through. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah we're, still, we're still talking about stuff. Theater seating, across from your television, across from the couch, across from the dinette. This thing just keeps going. This 45 footer flight is 90 yeah. feet long. Oh, yeah. And look, we got a little That's return nice. here because we haven't talked about the Aqua Hot 400D. We have not. Let's pull this. Yeah, you know what? These because, I love. Yeah. These sunshades are yeah. amazing. Cut that California yep. sun from coming here just a little yeah. bit. So you're right. Uh, Aqua Hot 400D is used in this coach. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be your hot water, mm -hmm. it's also going to be your furnace. To supply the heat for you if you ever needed to. Again, I think you mentioned earlier this is an all electric coach. There's no propane on mm -hmm. this coach. Um, so it's much more efficient as far as that goes. The Aqua Hot system has been used again. The brand has been used for a number of years mm -hmm. in this industry and it's held at a higher level. Mm -hmm. You know, So you get it at that higher level coach like we're in right now. And it really is uh, a neat, we have a little video on it, but it's a couple of years old. I need to update it on how it works. It's really, it's a hydronic heating system. So it's hot water on demand and it just circuit and gives you perfect heat in, in your coach. Yeah, when you say, when we say perfect heat, yeah. you know, sometimes you jump around on that. So what's nice about the heat that it produces is if you have a, a, a propane heater or a mm -hmm. propane furnace, you're, you're using the propane to burn, to, to warm the air. It dries the air out. Mm -hmm. If you're going to live in a coach like your home, mm -hmm. you want to have a heater that's like your house. Right. And that's what Aqua Hot offers. It's very residential. Mm -hmm. It's warm. There's no cool spots in the right. coach with Aqua Hot heat. So it makes it really nice for that. Yeah, it runs right off your, uh, right off your fuel tank, right? Yeah, right yeah. off your diesel fuel tank. So yeah. well, where yeah. you go. At a minimum yeah. draw. Yeah. yeah. Now this, and we talked about this last time, but the video was cut off. This ensemble with the couch and the booth is my favorite. I love that setup. So they got a shot of us sitting on there. Yeah. You've got to get a shot because, again, I'm 6'5". I'm yep. Sitting on the couch. No problem at all. Yeah. You know me and my laying down on the yeah. couch with you guys. So the furniture in here is not yeah. Barbie furniture. No. It's not small. It's no. this full-size, big boy furniture inside the coach. And, you know, and one thing, I, I too, when, when we do these walkthroughs and, and we talk about, you know, you can touch and you can feel the, the, the quality of this ultra leather, people sometimes think, oh, you're, 
you're pulling one over on me. We were just talking to uh, a gentleman over in, in Outlaw, Reggie, who watches our videos. Thank you very much, Reggie. When you catch us later, here's your shout out. Thanks for stopping out. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, was in the Outlaw. He's like, oh my gosh, you guys weren't kidding. This really is nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's high quality furniture. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're not, you're not buying into a $50,000 travel trailer. Right. You know, you're not getting there. You're getting real nope. home-style furniture, which is nice, which we, what do you expect right. at this level. And that folds into a bed as well. Yep, this can be a bed as well. Uh -huh. Now, is that, is, that an, an, is that an air bed or is that a trifold? So it's like a trifold. What we've okay. done over the last couple of years is we're getting rid of the air, the blow-up mattress right. on these things. Now we're using the, the cushions, the yeah. foam. It's much more comfortable yeah. for you. they are soft. I tell people, you know, bring a quilt. We can throw a quilt over top yeah. of it. It makes a perfect bed yeah. for the kids yeah, the, or for uh, that occasional guest. Yeah, the dinette. Uh, is come from Lakes into a bed, and another great feature that we offer in our diesel lineup, that drop-down overhead bunk, which you don't always get in other manufacturers. We can even go one step further. Yes, take it one you step. You don't Let's go get this line. in any other diesel motorhome at, at this price okay, point. See, period. See? Done. That's it. That's all there is yeah. to it. Drops nice and quiet. Like nice and yep. strong. And we and we redid uh, just the, the the cable. Yeah, this piece right here. This piece right here used to stick off the wall. It no longer sticks off the wall anymore. And you got your TV up there. A lot more storage up here. Nice. This what, is your, size, what size is this? This, this is, is kind of like a. It's, it's just in about between, a queen. Just about a queen. So and I say it's an RV queen. Uh, yeah, RV yeah. queen. In yeah. between a full and a queen. So you're gonna buy queen sheets and you're gonna have to do a little tuck on. Sure. It's a little bit. Just a little bit of tuck on them. But this is going to be the bed you use for the grandkids, yeah. for the occasional guest. Yep. And it's out of the way. It's yeah. nice. It's the go-to bed. Yeah. And you're not turning your couch into a bed. Because let's face it, you turn the couch into the bed, the day's over. Yeah. Everybody's going to bed. Oh, yeah. Right? It just Living room's gone, and it's the day's yep. over. So you might as well have something like this. Very exclusive on that scenario for, for mm -hmm. Tuscany. Uh, Joe says, I don't understand the concept uh, with the TV behind the sofa. Well, that's what the theater seats are for. Because you got to remember, usually, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, and I want to speak out of turn, but normally a coach like this is generally as big as it is. It's a couple's coach. It is. It's generally a couple's coach. So and if you don't want the TV over the sofa, you can go ahead and put it down on the remotes. But for the theater seats, this is lined up. You got your sound bar, Joe. It's, it's great for taking in TV. Um, Right there, and if you you're right, people, so you know, yeah. so we, we were sitting here, and that's probably why he may have right. asked that question. Right. I'm sitting here right in front of the TV, yeah. and we we just can't see it. Well, and I guess that's the other thing when you do have people over because it's a couple's sketch, you're probably not watching TV, yeah. to be honest. And if you not want really. everyone to watch, you got the TV right up there, the captain's chair swivel and recline. And we've we talked about it in the past. Yeah. What's the what's the logo for RVN? Six for drinks, four for dinner, two for sleeping, just like that. That's how it there works. You go. So as we work our way up front uh, to the seats, which have, I love the logo embroidered in there. Oh, uh, this yeah. new dash is phenomenal. I love the way Off it looks. The hook. I love the way it operates. If I, I say, love can you still look over yeah, my shoulder? Yeah, sure, I Tom can move around. I, 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 love make the way sure. this, I love the way this drives. I don't know what else they did, and I want to talk to Freightland, but I know we got V-Ride technology going on. We have every, this is just a great setup. You pull this down. Oh, Don from Diesel Club. Miss you in Goshen. Thank you very much, Don. We miss seeing you, too. I don't know if you've ever met Don from Diesel Club. He is, uh, I will say, he is a character. I love talking to Don. <laughs> do. I run into him every once in a while, and uh, we sit there, and, and he drives. And I don't know, Don, you still driving? Your, you had a 38 SQ, I believe. So uh, good to hear from you, hey, Don. Thanks for watching. one of those at the show. Thanks, Don. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, yes. yeah, that's what Don Appreciate drives. very much. We're a little low on air, yeah. so it's going to yell at us for a moment. But we're going to turn that. Did you get a shot of that okay? Yeah. We'll turn that off. Yeah. It's going to keep yelling with the, with the air on there like that. So what we've done with Drive Tech from Freightliner, fantastic. Brand new feature for 2020. The smart wheel, the new dash. What makes a smart wheel and Drive Tech really work, again, in my opinion, is smart wheels are in, in, motor, or excuse me, in cars all the time. Your television, your uh, telephone, your other push button stuff here. But now we've moved all the stuff that previously was over here, mm -hmm. right, right in front there. of us. Yeah. I do, my transmission is right here. My drive, neutral, reverse is right here. My gear shifting is right here on the end. My engine brake is right here on the, on the pull side of the, the right-hand side here. Every one of these arms moves in four directions. It all has its own different job when I'm moving it around like that. 
how does that help me driving down the road, Corey? I know it looks cool, it acts cool, yeah. it looks like a Mercedes, how does that help me? I'm always looking forward. Right. I'm not having to find, where's my engine brake over here? Yeah. And, and where's my, I want to shift down into fifth gear, and I'm, I'm not having to figure that out. Yeah. It's all right here in front of me. It's real easy to get to. Um, it's just a fantastic thing. And let's face it, it, it looks good. Yeah. It's just clean. Yep. And that 15.7-inch uh, screen is... Can you see this okay? I'm, I'm not sure if you can get all of this <laughs> in the screen or not right here. loaded with bells and whistles. So you've got your stereo. Yep. You've got your navigation. So we were laughing. I was uh, presenting this coach the other day, and uh, it came up. Actually, the, the man's wife says, if you can't read that, honey, you can't drive the coach. <laughs> That's probably very <laughs> and he's, true. And he's, she's got a point. Yeah. Right? If you can't read that, you shouldn't be behind the wheel. Um, but this is just a fantastic And, and the nice setup. thing is about that is it's RV-specific navigation. So when you're going down wherever you may be traveling to and there's a detour, you're not going to be in a coach like this with that navigation system and wind up at a bridge that says bridge crossing nine foot five, and then and then what do you do? Yeah, what do I? How do I get out of right. there? So how do I get out of keeps, there? Uh, it keeps you growing. So I think we did this the last time we yeah. got together, right? We, I think let's do we it did. Again. Well, we did, but remember the video got cut off because of her signal, so well, they didn't right. get we're, to see the demonstration. So let's do the this. quiet demo. So I just turned on the generator, and they tell me the sound is pretty good on my on my mic and. I'm trying not to scream as much as I have a tendency of doing. So I'm driving down the road. Okay, Corey's driving down the road. I'm driving down the road. Generator's on. Yep. I don't even hear the engine. The reason I don't hear the engine, because the engine is 45 feet behind, behind me. You. Yeah. Right now, yep. this is as loud as this coach gets when you're driving down the road. That's it. Air conditioners are on. Generator is on. No, the engine is on. The air is yelling at me. We'll get out of that. Yeah. But again, the generator's on. And especially in the Southern California, Arizona, desert right. area, you're going to run that jan and keep the house right. cold while you're traveling. And that's, you know, you're not, yeah. you're not being interfered with up here talking. Yeah, a couple other things to talk about as we're talking about, you know, the nice sunny skies of California and, and, and being out here. We got solar on top of this as we well. We do. Which will we help do. when you're out dry yeah. camping. And, yeah, we've bumped up to 200 watts yeah. of solar panel on this. You have a 2,800 watt inverter. You've got six six volt batteries. Again, Corey, how does that help me? What does right. that really mean right. to me in the big picture of things, right? Well, it means you can go and not have to be plugged in. You can go and not have to have your generator running all the time, right? We're going to service the the batteries with the solar panel. You're going to have the power to do what you want to do inside the coach. There's a few things you can't run. You know, microwave right. induction. You need to have the generator right. or shore power. But overall, living, you can do it like you're dry camping. Right? The power is more than sufficient. You're good to go all the way around the board. And also on the roof, the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot Wi-Fi extender. Wow, that's a mouthful of stuff right there. It's almost like I've had to say there. that for Holy one or cow, 28 yeah. videos. Yeah, you had to read that <laughs> off a piece of paper or what's going I've on read that over many, here? Many times, I would have yeah. messed that up in a hurry. So what's nice about that is it incorporates a few things for us right. and also has a new feature this year. It incorporates our high-def TV antenna. Yep. It incorporates our Wi-Fi extender mm -hmm. antenna. And now you can also make your motorhome hotspot. What's nice about that is, because everybody says, Corey, I don't need a hotspot. I'm connected my to the camera right here. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Right? It's right here. It's right here. Well, why would I use my phone? Why would I use my phone's battery? Why yeah. would I do that when I can have my motorhome do the same thing right. for me? Right? I can connect my televisions, my iPads, my computers yeah. all to my motorhome. I can do it either through WineGuard, I'm mm -hmm. buying data, or I can go through my Verizon or, or um, AT&T, those kind of guys, and buy data from them. Mm -hmm. What's nice about, well, I, I use Verizon. Right. That's, what I, that's who I use. Okay. Um, I can add this motorhome to my Verizon plan, and if you have unlimited data, yeah. guess what? You got unlimited data, yeah. you know? And so now the, the, how you do that is you go down to your Verizon store. Okay. They're going to give you a SIM card. Mm -hmm. It's like adding a cell phone to your gotcha. plan. Gotcha. That's what it really yeah. is. You come back, you put the SIM card in the unit, you're good to go. Just, just that easy. And you say, Corey, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You've got dealers that'll help you. You've got our 1-800 yeah. number. You can call us, our customer service number, and make things happen Pretty for easy. Us. And the other thing, too, about having the unlimited data in the hotspot is we didn't mention that those are smart TVs. So they are. You can you yeah. can pull up your Netflix, and you can you can stream or whatever, your Hulu. So I know you know Colin Seckle. I know, I know no, Colin, no. yeah. Mr. Seckle is here with me over the weekend. 
And so Colin hooks his computer and his iPad up to the smart television. He's running videos. He's running pictures. He's running all this, you know, against yeah. some of the competition. We're, we're right. fighting against this this yeah. week and during our show. He's showing cu uh, videos for customers. And it's all because we had a hotspot yeah. and we're online. That's how cool it is. It is I awesome. Mean, it is really neat. It is awesome. Well, let's take a look around at a couple of the things outside we didn't get to touch on uh, at Open House. We'll go ahead and get the push. Oh, there's a the generator. And away we go. All righty. Oh, gosh, it's gorgeous out here. It's tough living down here, guys. If somebody's got to do it, I'll tell you. I just I, I had to take one for the team for being down here. But here I am. So I guess we can start uh, I mean, a generator and a slide tray. Let's talk a little bit about that. If you, you, you want, we don't have to put it out, but we can talk about it. You betcha. You, you betcha. So. Um, on the other side of the coach, you open up the storage, you reach inside the T-handle, pop in yep. the hood like you pop the hood in your hand, right? Get the generator out, it's on a power slide. Power the coach with more than enough sufficient power for the coach to run for you. You notice the one thing on the on the Tuscan that you're going to notice here is the width of this door right here. Right. Look how wide the door is, look how wide the steps are. Easy entrance. I'm packing my laundry basket in there. I'm not having to figure out how to get in the coach, you know. So a nice wide door on this. There's an awning above the door for us. And the key fob is your keyless entry, correct? It is the key fob. Now that we, because we're using the, 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 the Freightliner freight key fob. The, yeah. So we, we, got so we no that. longer have the, the push keypad. button on the outside. Do a fuel fills line. above the belt line, which is a big deal. Why is that a big deal? Well, I'll tell you why it's a big deal, Corey, because when I'm filling up my 45MX, which I don't own, but I have the gas on it before. I know. You're not on you, and yeah. you can pull. You're not like, oh, I have, and even in my car, I, I have to wait because I can only pull in here. Yes. Pull in here. Yeah. Yes, yes. See, I pay attention. So I know some of the, some, some of the guys have been RVers for a while, yeah. and they're sitting here pumping diesel into their motorhome, and the, and the spout's down here. The worst thing that happens is diesel comes flowing out all over oh, you. Oh, and that's the worst. That's the worst. That's a, that is a, that diesel that's, get on your mind. That's, that's, that's not a good, that's not a good time at all. Big, tires on Big giant tires. Yep. Now we're going to be at the um, 315s on the front of the wide. Nice and big. Big storage, outside televisions, dual awnings. You have awnings down the whole side of the coach. Well, and the nice thing is they put the awnings up. Roof um, mounted. Yeah. Yeah. And they kind of, yeah. I don't want to say, I don't want to say it's a two stage, but. Yeah. It's, I call it, they, they break in the middle, yeah, right? So they, they come out and then they break like this when they come, they yeah. hang down. I would have had them out for us, unfortunately. Yeah, we're expecting Santa Ana. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of judged by the gorilla and his current status of laying down yeah. that the wind's blowing pretty good right now. <laughs> So we got to watch our winds out here. Yeah, at the well, Santa nice Anna. thing is, is if you would be out in there, you have your awnings out, and you would forget to put them in, which is one of the things whenever you leave your coach to go on an excursion, put the awning in. But on this, the motion, wind. Yeah, motion yeah. sensor, wind moves it, they pull back in, yeah. you're set, you're nice and safe. No problem yeah. at all. No problem at all. We have to go through yes. half show storage. Can I lock these? Uh, you know what? I did because I threw some. Let me do it. And this is great. You can go in and press a button. I can unlock all the storage bays with the button on the dash. Yes, I was. All right, try that. Every second you gotta watch. Did I hit the right button? Yeah. Look at that. I love that. Yeah, we just threw some gear on the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep opening these until I run out of storage. Pastor, see, there's our gear. Right back there, I got a camera in my bag, a bottle of water, our dirt devil. There's a mud flap in there too, in case you yeah. need a mud flap. But you, you just can't go. One of the reasons people buy a Class A diesel motorhome mm -hmm. is because of the outside storage. And this is huge. It's, it's, what is this? Uh, it's a thousand pounds per bay, roughly. Roughly. Right? Yeah. Yep, roughly a thousand pounds per bay. You do have a tray here on the one. Yep. Oh, here we go. Look. For, See, I promise that's a porcelain tile. Promise. Yeah. There you go. You get a couple extras of those. Oh, what do we got? Daniel, I like it. I'm in the market for exactly that one. Well, Daniel, if you're out, buy the, the California RV show. 
Where, Tom, where's this RTV show at? Montana. That's where you come. Come see us, Daniel. Hook up with Corey. He will yeah, uh, come on, I'll show all you all the, I'll show you all the nooks and crannies. But, yeah, I mean, these are huge. The pass-through, uh, they're, they're, they're heated, at least a couple of them, right? They are. Okay. Yeah, this area is heated. Your, your wet bay or your dump station mm -hmm. area is also heated as well for the outside for those folks that don't live in Southern California. I keep pitching Southern California because I'm finally home for a change know, out here with you guys. I know. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I always yeah. love coming to your turf. And well, I appreciate it's so you short. guys coming down here. It's fun. I, I have a lot of fun. I love talk. I do. I like because it's so different for open house because you know it's it's different. We got the yeah. dealers and whatnot. Well, yeah. here I get to I get to talk to people and in you and we get to take your feedback and you, so I like this. I don't like this. Why do you do it this way? Why do you do it this way? And the nice thing is we take that feedback and. We, we use that. We were talking again. I'll t uh, Reggie, I'll give you another shout out. I had him talk to our, our outlaw product guy, Chris Carter, who was, well, let's do this. And, th and so it's great because we do. Your, your, your feedback is very important to us. And I know that we've implemented that in some of your lines. The, the new Palazzo, when that came out a couple of years ago, they wanted exactly. a fireplace. Yeah. We added we, a fireplace. We got a fireplace yeah. in it. So all the lines, I mean, yeah. every year, Adam and his team of people and yeah. the whole team at Thor Corporate back there, they, they do listen, you yeah. know, so I can come out the next year and say, here's what I changed, yeah. here's what I added, here's what we did yeah. different, you know, and mainly because people, either it's a complaint or a suggestion yeah. or whatever the case may be. And one thing I do, is, as we're talking diesels, this would be a perfect tie-in right now, because right now back in Goshen, Indiana, is the big diesel club rally for, for club. the diesel club, yes, for diesel club, that's right. So for everybody who buys a new diesel product, you, you, you get a year membership in the diesel club yeah. and... That it, you guys are a great group of people, and I'm sorry I'm not with you this year. I'm I'm in California. So they stole Anson. <laughs> they stole Anson from me because he was here yeah. and he flew home to be at the TDC. Yeah, he's one of he's one of our yeah. traveling techs. So yeah. uh, he's out there yeah. helping uh, Diesel Club, showing them how to do stuff. So Thor Diesel Club, I want to give you a shout out. I know you're watching. Maybe maybe next year I'll come out and we'll do we'll do some more fun stuff. So. Um, Tuscany would be perfect in the Diesel Club. Yes, it so would. There we go. Yes, it would. So here There's lots have. and lots of features. We could spend the rest of the we day could. on this coach. We could this talk coach. about the Sickens, uh, the Sickens paint, which we, they use on Giant Exotics, and the McLaren Formula One team uses it on their car. They do. Yeah. They do. Rolls Royce, Maserati. Yeah. I mean, you just count all this stuff. And the nice thing is because it doesn't, it doesn't fully cure, which people think, well, why would I want to paint that doesn't fully cure? Well, in this... We're Take it away. We're yeah. painting fiberglass. Yeah. Let's face it, right? Underneath the paint is fiberglass. Yeah. Gel coated, but fiberglass, it gets hot. It gets cold. It goes with the it down the road, vibrate. So with the seconds paint, it doesn't quite shell on the outside. Yeah. It doesn't quite harden all the way. So it allows the coach to move a little bit. Ten years from now, you don't get the spider web cracks in this paint yeah. that you're going to get it from the different kind of paint. So, uh, and I have to answer Wendy. Wendy says, hey, is that still a 751 key? You mean this one here that oh doesn't even fit anymore, Wendy. So there you are. Okay, there's there's the key. So, but you got the inside lock as well. So hopefully that'll answer your question. When you look at a live demo, live I demo always, of a key. I always carry key. my yeah. always carry my keys with me. I had mine, but it gets to be a big wad in my pocket. Yeah. So. So again, we've got yeah. 15,000 pound torque capacity on the tag, 10,000 pound torque capacity in a non-tag. Side radiator in the Tuscany. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, there's you know, there's just so many things we can go it over goes with the on coach. and um, on and on. And if, if, you're, all if you're down here in the area, yeah. if you're not down here in the area, get here before Sunday. Yeah. Come in and see me. I'll show you the coach. I've got one of each floor plan that we build at this event. Oh, of all of our diesel products. Palazzo, Aria, Venetian, Tuscany, all of them are here. That is a lot of floor plans. Lot of floor so plans. if you are coming out, the hours are till six o'clock tonight. Uh, I'm still looking at. My, it's 7:42 back home, it's so I'm still, in, in I'm, still, I'm still, I'm still in Indiana. I'll adjust, but uh, 10 to 6, uh, 6 o'clock tonight, 10 to 6 tomorrow, and I believe it's 10 to 6 uh, the rest of the week. And I don't know yeah. about Sunday time. It is. Uh, it's free parking. Uh, you can go to the web website. Uh, and what do you think of the new venue? I like it. I, but love, I, it. I love, I love everything I love motorsports. It. I want to yeah. go into the track. It's clean. It's sharp. It's yeah. new. It's it's open. It's I mean I I couldn't I didn't have this kind of display yeah. last year. At the other venue. Yeah. Now, so now I can spread out. I can show the stuff. People aren't feeling like I'm in a you know, right tight aisle kind of thing. So this is just a great. Yeah. great we have we, dealers down here doing a fabulous job yeah. for me. They're working their guts yeah. out. And and we got all kinds of we have omnis and way down there we have Milano. 
There's an Aria. We have Outlaws and Hurricanes and Airports and RUVs. And we have B-Vans, which we will get to hopefully tomorrow. So I will wrap this up with you. I love coming out to Thank your neighborhood you very, very and much. I appreciate being on you your guys. playground. Thank you Thanks very for coming much, out and Corey. Us. So stick around because we're going to try and round something else. Um, I know at some point we're going to have to break for dinner because it's... We've been up since like five. No, we're not gonna. We're trying. We're not gonna wuss out on you. We're gonna keep going because we're where Tom. Fontana. I told you I spun that wheel earlier. I said it was twenty, so it'll be twenty times. That'll that'll stick in your head. But stick around. We appreciate you watching on Facebook, on YouTube, on Periscope slash Twitter, whatever they call themselves these days. I can't keep up with the changes, but like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications, comment, questions, keep them coming in. We're excited to be here at the California RV 